Well, they have long been the symbol of wild America, and then they were a symbol of what happens when we don't take care of them. And it seems like there are more bald eagles in Iowa than, than ever, and that's because there are. And that's good news for nature lovers. Winter skies in Iowa aren't known for bringing good news, but this year, that's not the case. They have returned. It's become kind of a Des Moines tradition. Standing at Scott Street, or there on Grand. I think it is a surprise. The most urban spot in Iowa. This is just prime. Hosting our most spectacular members of the wild. There's a nice stretch of open water down the river, so that's kind of what is, is putting them in this area. It's kind of nice just to step back and, you know, take it all in. And that's all we've had to do because more than ever before, the bald eagles have come to us. This year, we're gonna break records. Um, for the first time, we're gonna count over 5,000 eagles on the count. And that is kind of amazing. 60 years ago today, there were fewer than 500 breeding pairs of bald eagles in the lower 48. You'd have seen zero here in Iowa, but now? During the winter time along the Des Moines River, there's, we can see congregations easily well over 30 here. Wildlife photographers like Eric Burson and Eric Williamson are loving this. A time when shooting fish in a barrel might be harder than shooting eagles from a bridge. I want to see expression. Uh, I want to see action. Seeing it is one thing, but to capture it. And the young one went down, got the fish, came back up. An older adult said, that is my fish. I want it. Took off after the younger one. They, the younger one threw it in the air. They got talons locked, starting to drop back down to the river, threw the fish in the air, and that's the series of shots that I got. There's action in the air, expression in the eye, and sometimes more. One year, uh, I was down at the Scott Street Bridge, and there was a bald eagle that was perched up on one of the exposed branches. It actually worked out pretty well where the moon was in alignment, but I had to lay down on the bridge itself to shoot up towards it. In warmer weather, these two search elsewhere in the Metro for wildlife, and you'd be surprised at what they found and captured so close by. The brilliance of uncommon birds, the sheen of an Urbandale mink, the wile of a coyote in Johnston, a beaver busy in Des Moines, a wild fox kit on a very domesticated lawn, and the wisdom in the eyes of owls, both small and large, old and young. I believe that photography helps connect an audience that may not have considered it to begin with. Their photographs shared on social media, seen by many who may not be nature lovers already, can make a connection and a difference. It really inspires people and sort of um, makes conservation personal for folks. They, they understand what they're losing. For so long, we'd lost the bald eagle in Iowa. The end of DDT and the advent of the Endangered Species Act did wonders, but mostly it was the change in our hearts. We do have room for wild things. We can connect with them in our spaces even those most unlikely. It is all about patience. And for that, let our hearts be warm this winter. <laughs> our thanks to Eric Burson and Eric Williamson for their time and many photographs that we use there in the story. Here's how you can follow them on Instagram. They do post a lot of great photos. You'll also find their work on the Iowa DNR social media feeds. And by the way, the Eagles will only be around really for a few more days, and then they'll begin to head off to their nesting sites around the state and the Midwest. Wow, so a timely story, beautifully done with your writing and also the photography as well. Well, yeah, and the Eagles are the star. And then, of course, we'll watch them on those nests through the mm -hmm. DNR cameras in places like Decorah, yep. where we've been watching them for oh, years. Oh, it's a good old Eagle cam. All right.